Last week, people from all around the world squeezed into their pre-lockdown suits and headed for Southampton. Specifically, the National Oceanography Centre, where Ocean Business 21 was held as really the first subsea conference of the year. For those who couldn't attend, this video explains what you missed. All the magazines laid out in the bins. Yes, and there's UT2. I sent hundreds. Now, even before you enter the room, you know that on the left side there'll be McCartney and on the right side there'll be Vailport. And it's true this time as well. Vailport showed their new Bathy 2. The Bathy 2 generates sound velocity and density profiles. While McCartney showed off its range of ultra stylish water bottles. And of course the Nexus 8. Nexus 8 is an HD video and multi-beam sonar multiplexer. It has ultra high bandwidth and HD video interfaces for up to three HD cameras without any latency. Now Ocean Business always contains a lot of underwater vehicles and this is no exception. One such is the SP100 Pro, it's small and highly manoeuvrable, and that's Deep Trekker's new pivot ROV. From the show, they controlled a similar ROV in a tank in Canada. Subsea Tech brought along its Tortuga ROV. On the AUV front, L3 Harris brought along its IVA 4. At Teledyne's offshore surveyor AUV, HII showed off its new Remus vehicle. And on the other end of the scale, EcoSub Robotics brought along its EcoSub Micro AUV. Nemosense showed its range of AUVs. Speaking of which, in the latest edition of UV2, we covered Blue Eye's new ROV called X3. Now at the show, someone did a bit of a Damien Hearst and cut it in half. It's really cool. There are some vehicles I've, th I've seen before and some for the first time. There's the Yuko from Ciba on the RS Aqua stand. In the last edition of UV2, we wrote about the Boxfish ROV called AVR1. Now, at the show, Partners Transmark stuck some video cameras and lights and stuff at the front. I think somebody's been watching Quadrophenia a bit too much. But it's aimed at the salmon fisheries market. It can count fish. I think it can weigh fish, they said. Oh, I see they've got batteries on Video Rave's Defender ROV now. That means the umbilical can be really small because it no longer has to carry any power. But they said that the next thing that's coming is that they're going to stick an edge computer on the vehicle and make it a lot more autonomous. Now, Charlie Foles decided to supplement his income by becoming a barista. He's been using the new Blueprint Labs manipulator. That's becoming very popular. Here it is on the Saab CI Falcon. And again on the Seymour Marine ROV. Now not only does it have the arm, but also Sonodyne's Sprint Nav Mini. And when you go on the Sonodyne stand, you can actually see the difference in size between the Sprint Nav Mini and the full fat version. I've also never seen this Beaks BWX vehicle, but it made a bit of a splash. Well, it did when they chucked in the water as part of the dock trials. Also at the harbour was STR's CTO 6000 winch. There was X-Ocean's ASV. And this company had developed a new lubrication system. So there's the X-Ocean vehicle. It actually looks as though it's going from left to right. But no. Despite having three hulls, they called a catamaran because the centre hulls are really just used for fuel storage. At the top, there are communication systems, a pan and tilt camera, and four cameras to give a 360 degree view. Along the top, there are solar panels, and that improves the energy budget. At the stern, there are a pair of thrusters and a Veilport profiler. Other profilers are available. Now, if you want to use a profiler from a vessel, you might be interested in this. It's a winch that extends 87 centimetres out over the back of the vessel and you can lower the profiler down. The IM Solutions AUV actually incorporates its own winch. So we've got the Ocean Scan Light Autonomous Underwater Vehicle, Ocean Tools, Ocean Sense, and the Ocean Scout from 
Heffing Engineering. It's a glider. It's amazing. It weighs 25 kilograms. can be deployed by one person. Depth rating, 200 metres. There's White Ocean with this Caterpillar track system. Communicating underwater is difficult, but if you use light, you can have a much higher bandwidth. So here they're demonstrating a, a sender receiver system passing through what looks like a tank of iron brew. Tritech showed their new USB-L system. Now this is Evologic's Penguin AUV. It's got four rear thrusters. Now that was in a recent issue of UV2, but I was more interested in the vehicle behind it. Ten years ago, Evologix developed a fast USV for use on rivers that looked a bit like the Starship Enterprise. Well, the latest iteration of this looks even more like Starship Enterprise. And the idea is you can unclip it and put everything in the back of your car. Well, that's me six minutes up. There are quite a few things I wanted to include, especially cameras and imaging systems. But I'm going to save those for the magazines. In conclusion, the show, most people said that there were fewer people than they hoped, but more than they expected, and it was certainly worth going. If you couldn't get along, check out the next issues of UV2 and UT2, and I'll tell you all about it.